and hello everyone from Perth in Western Australia. Behind me you see Terminal 3 and 4. This is where Qantas and uh, Jetstar fly up from. Um, so I'm on the final leg of my uh, journey today uh, from Perth to Adelaide where I started from yesterday on my um, round the country flight. It started yesterday from uh, Adelaide to Sydney and I had a night stop there at the uh, Stanford Plaza Hotel and then this morning I flew uh, from Sydney to Perth in uh, Qantas business class on the A330 so now I'm embarking on the final flight of the day I'm looking forward to going home because I've been on the road for about 16 hours now I started at uh, 5 a.m. in Sydney which was about 2 a.m. here in Perth so there's a three hour time difference Perth is uh, three hours behind so it means I've been on the road for a long, long time. So it's about um, 4 p.m. Uh, just about ready for me to head into the terminal and um, board my flight back to Adelaide. So let's see how the Jetstar experience will be like. Uh, I had a very good flight with them a few weeks ago to Bali. And uh, this is a domestic flight. So hopefully um, the cabin uh, will be as spacious as uh, the previous plane that I was on. Um, Fingers crossed, yes. So I will see you in the airport. Yep, let's go. So, hi guys. This is uh, Perth International Airport, Terminal 3 and 4, the domain of Qantas's uh, family group of airlines, which is Qantas and Jetstar. Qantas started flying internationally from Terminal 3 sometime last year in November for their non stop London flights. This airport it's just purely functional and there is nothing aesthetically pleasing about it. The facilities are so poor in there, there's really nothing much for you to do. So it's like an instant noodles of airports. It is there to shuttle you from point A to point B with not much fanfare. It is 4pm and as you can see the shops are already closing so there is really nothing much for you to buy anyway. Cafes there are overpriced and uh, really doesn't offer much in terms of choice. The waiting area in Terminal 3 is also pretty small as well and as you can see this is all you get.
it was a fantastic day for flying as we took off from runway 21. Soon as we climbed to the skies, we made a left turn to leave the sun behind us as we headed towards Adelaide. With the sun setting behind us, the cabin crew came about with a meal cart, but seeing how it was only two cabin crew manning the entire aisle, it was really dark by the time they came to me. Being on a max bundle, I selected $15 as a credit to buy whatever I could from the in-flight menu. By the time they came to me, they have run out of almost all the options, so the cabin crew put together two meat pies for me. I had it together with a hot drink. As hungry as I was, I'm not about to lie to you to say that this pie was the best I've ever had. It's just your typical microwave variety. It was alright I suppose. So there we have it, a domestic flight with Jetstar from Perth to Adelaide. A lot of us tend to give Jetstar a hard time because we tend to forget that Jetstar is after all a low cost carrier and we come to them with a full service carrier mentality which is wrong. I gotta say that this flight was okay for me because I always approach Jetstar with managed expectations. I expect a minimal level of service and I even buffer my schedule to cater for any delays that seem to happen very often. But as you can see, this flight was close to perfect because the crew was friendly, the flight was on time, yeah the catering might have been better because you know it's just microwave pies. I don't expect a Gordon Ramsay style catering to be on a low cost carrier after all. So at the end of the day, are they really that bad? In my opinion, they aren't because I don't expect anything much from Jetstar, but whenever I've flown them, they seem to have exceeded the expectations, so they are okay in my books. Will I fly Jetstar again? Yep, probably I will. In the meantime, let's all just sit back and enjoy the landing into Adelaide.
finally. 18 hours after I stepped out of Santa Plaza in Sydney Airport, I'm finally home in Adelaide. It's been a long day and I'm looking forward to going to bed because I am so exhausted now. Um, well, what can I say about Jetstar? They are what they are and they don't pretend to be anything else. Um, they are a low-cost carrier and they get you from point A to point B in relative comfort. Um, if you don't expect anything much, they're actually a pretty good deal to fly around because I get my status credits and Qantas points as well. So until the next time I travel, stay safe and travel safe everyone and I'll see you again. Bye!